I think in terms of the photography and the style, what inspired me in the early days were individual shots. It was these one-shot wonders which I felt should be part of the whole, the whole film. I suppose the idea for spy cams came from many years ago, and I had the idea of maybe we could disguise a camera as some sort of animal. Can we start getting these cameras closer to our subjects? And from that has developed a whole line of, of devices all the time, trying to find new ways of getting cameras very, very close to our subjects. Well, this is Dragonfly Cams. It's a, an aerial filming device. This is the first time it's been flown, so it's quite an exciting moment. The idea behind it is that it's going to allow us to get very close perspective shots from the air of wildebeest herds without disturbing them. I love, the, I love seeing it front on. It's a large dragonfly, as you can see, but at one time, prehistoric times, they actually existed at this size. But once we get it in the air, any idea of scale soon vanishes, and it will become quite a small object and a very unthreatening object in the, on the African savanna. Well, I felt for a long time that, that natural history was going down a one-way track in terms of how the, everything had to be filmed in exactly the same way. The subject is the best subject in the world. If people are getting bored with natural history films, there's something wrong with natural history films. This is the latest of our spy cams. It's tortoise cam. It may be our most successful yet because it's designed to totally be non-threatening in the environment. And already we've done tests with it and you can get it within inches, literally, of a cheetah without it even flinching or noticing, which is extraordinary. I'll show you a little bit how it works. Underneath, it's got these uh, caterpillar tracks. We are developing so many other devices and the best ones of those, if they're appropriate to the subject, will go on you know, to become part of our photographic arsenal that we can then direct at, different, um, at a different subject. <laughs>